Engagement drives enrollments, so no doubt adding a mix of both email and text messages to your campaigns will only increase your engagement rates with potential parents, moving them through the enrollment pipeline a whole lot faster. With Child Care CRM's two-way communication piece, we seek to give all of your team members the access they need to a 360-degree view of your parents' inbound and outbound communications, whether emails or text messages, in one central location. Let's take a peek and see if this is the solution you're needing. Ryan, tell us the backstory on two-way text email. Why is it needed? Why have we decided now is the time to do it? So, just as we all use Gmail, Outlook, our phones, Apple, whatever we use for email, uh, you know, that conversation is very important. And our system right now, when you send the email out, that's great, but where they reply back to, it goes over to your Outlook client or your email client, and then you, you, you have no way to get back in the system. So then if, like, if I'm the director and you're the assistant director and we don't have the same email account, then we don't know what's going on. Right. On the other hand, is then we actually start taking the data out of CRM and start working it outside of the system, which is kind of defeats the purpose exactly. of using CRM. Um, and we want CRM to be a, a single source and, and make it as quick and as easy to use as possible. So that's why we decided after many, 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 many requests uh, and lots and lots of, uh, of uh, head beating, if you will. Uh, See what happens, I tell you, if you're not seeing action, just put another request in. <laughs> Sorry, customer success. So, so we've, uh, we've added the two-way capabilities. The emails will, when, when you send an email out of the system, it will come back in if the user replies, and then we do have some routing abilities, business rules, and whatnot behind it. Okay. So. Well, let's take a look at those. I think most people are going to manage two-way text and email from the home screen, and you'll see on that very front page now, we've added the tab that's called communications. That's where you're going to manage uh, your inbound, your outbound. You can always view them with inside the lead. We'll look at that too, but I think most people think about it like your email client. You'll see your unreads at the top and bolded. You'll see the ones that you've already read and may need to reply to kind of down below. Um, so. Within your toggles, you have My Communications and All Communications. So if you have access to that, you can see other responses or other people's communications too. Um, you also have the same radio ability, not radio ability, but the date range ability where you can see kind of things that have come in today, things that have come in since yesterday, the last seven days. If you want to see all of them, go for it. Uh, you have the ability to dismiss a message that is not deleting it. I know that button might look like delete. It just means take it off this list. It's still going to be stored in the leads file. Um, it'll be stored in the group manager if you sent it out a group manager. It just means I don't need to see it on this list Oop. anymore. That's seven days. There we go. Well, one other thing to note is uh, this drop down for enrollment team. We are adding in my team and all just like the just the way the task operates here on with the enrollment team functionality. Right. We will be putting that over on this side before we release it. Okay. Cool. So inside of these communications, you'll see when you view that email, well, <laughs> well you'll see the actual email, not, not any of that shenanigans. You will see the email. You'll see that's the text, a, oh, that's message. A text. Oops. Yes, Let's it's go fine. Email. So within your email, you'll see the content of the email. Um, you have the ability to reply from here. <laughs> One of my favorite features, and it, it is related to two-way text and email, but I think it's on a bigger scale is the manage attachments feature. I think when our team did this, they didn't realize what a game changer this one was. They were like, oh sure, manage attachments. Do you guys remember in the lead file, you have that tab that said documents and we gave you the ability to start uploading PDFs, which is cool. But like Ryan was saying with emails, once you receive an email in your client, once you receive an attachment, you are managing it from there. I know that. So now that you're able to receive emails from here, when a parent sends you back the registration form or a parent sends you back a shot record, you can manage that attachment within the email inside CRM. So you can download it to your computer, of course. You can print it, of course. You can also store it to their documents for later if you want to be able to pull it up at any other time and print it any other time, which I absolutely love. So you have the ability to view, save to documents, or save to computer, which is really cool. Well, the, the big one on that one is a lot of people are getting those enrollment forms back. Mm -hmm. And then you just click save right to the lead. Yep. I love it. And, and uh, I love our developers messing with us here, sending us gibberish things. So you and I uh, freak out on live. I, yeah, absolutely. I, I'm currently <laughs> Thanks, in guys. coding school, and I know exactly what that means. So, uh, yeah, they're over there <laughs> snickering right now they as really to... Uh, just go to the live studio. They're probably... <laughs> <laughs> like the Michael Jackson gift where he's just eating popcorn. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, Thanks, so <laughs> you can reply to this email right from here. Yep. You have the option when you're in here, just like uh, a normal editor, you can pick any of the templates you've already built out. So if you wanted to start with the signature, ta the signature template or you need to attach something, you need to CC somebody, you want to delay this delivery because you got to your center at 6 a.m. and you're working, feel free. None of that functionality has changed. You just have the ability to reply in here and then Ryan, when the parent responds to your reply, it'll look just like a thread, right? You'll yeah. see all of the thread below, everything you've done? Yeah. Okay. Anything else here that you want to add that I might have missed on the email before we talk about replying to text? No, this is, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. It works a lot like the, the sending email piece. It's just on the, the chain, again, our, our jokesters here. Uh, I don't think you have, yeah, we'll have to go to a different one. I mean, it, you just see it just as a thread. Right. It's just like you're working in Outlook, except for it's inside CRM. You have your attachments. You have this neat thing to attach it strictly to the lead. You can go to the lead, uh, reply to the email, and then, like Gimli said earlier, if um, you've actioned it, you're done. You can dismiss it from the list. Right. Which, Which still it's still stored in the leads file, but I, I've done. I've been done with it. Um, you also tell me about Ryan. If I'm managing my communication or all communication, what is the Plan or what's the alert if somebody has if somebody on my team has responded to that? Do I see it in the thread? Okay, so what it does if let's say you and I are simultaneously working on a lead and you manage to beat me and you get the email off, when I go to hit reply, it pops up and says you are not replying to the latest thread. Would cool. you like to acknowledge it? And then so it'll reload so you can see what has been sent, so you can decide, oh, you know, Emily's already done it, I don't need to, or yeah, I like to tack on some more information and you can keep sending. I love but it. it'll alert you if you are not the newest reply. I love it. How many times have you overpromised something and your assistant director said something opposite? <laughs> so now you guys can see what the uh, reply has been for. Okay, two-way text. Let's talk about that before we go anywhere else. Um, hallelujah, it is here. So when a parent, when you were you're sending those text messages out, the unable to contact, the tour confirmation, it used to say, do not reply to text. Well, you can take that out now. Now they can reply to the text message. And you, just like the email, you'll see an alert that you've got an incoming text message. So Ryan, if you want to click that one, you can reply to it from here. Again, I ha I've seen this one before too. There is also an alert if the parent texts you before you respond, you'll see a pop up that says, oh, oh, oh you got a new text, uh, slow down. And you can reply right back to the parent. They'll get it. Comes right back. I, I will say, what did we add that I thought was awesome? Oh, parents can respond with emojis and gifts. Yes. That, <laughs> I'm so excited. And, and I'm and I'm not gonna lie, a uh, an emoji keyboard has been requested. Yes. <laughs> so we can put it in there. I'm I'm not promising it for the first release, but an emoji I need some keyboord is on that, in. Directors, because our team looked at me like I was crazy when I said we need an emoji keyboard and we need to be able to respond with gifts. They thought I was nuts, but come on, everyone loves that. Yeah. The, the other thing to note, and this is just for text messages in general, we are adding the ability to send uh, images and documents through. Cool. As, they'll come through as MMS, but we can actually send, um, or working on the ability to send images and uh, small documents through text messages as well. So those of you who have neglected your text message templates, neglect them no longer. I would go in there and start building them out. Think about what you want them to say. Even quick responses, guys. I think if you want to go into your templates and build some can't wait to see you on your first days or that sounds awesome, see you then, add some quick responses for your team. That's not a bad way to start. All right, so let's talk about how we send uh, to, well, how we interact with two-way communication with inside of um, the managed groups because you can also do that. So when you are, go to the uh, group, the one, what's it called? Where we, we sent them all, the history. The history? Yeah. Okay, so I admit this isn't pretty because this is a demonstration database, so we don't really want to send anything out of it. But if you click into that group send, and this will be the same on your uh, text messages too, you can see all of the replies up at the top, that view replies button. You can see all of the replies from the top, and you can click any of them, and you'll see what the content of it was, what the thread on that was. You can respond. Oh, we love them. You can respond to it from there. So when you're sending out a big group email now, of course you'll see the individual replies in those unread messages, but you can also go into the group send and, and manage all of the replies from that response on here, and I believe it'll be the same for a text message too. Correct. Okay. Um, where else would we interact? Oh, you want to talk about on the lead, where yep. they can find the communication history? Mandy Moore is a good one. 
So there, there's a little bit of update on the lead screen in general. And this <laughs> a little is, bit. Is, yep, this is, uh, this is a little bit of work in progress still. There's some final tweaks, so you know, definitely provide the feedback, but do know there is a, a few modifications coming. Um, you'll notice there is the communication tab here now. Um, we are actually moving the past events to this activities tab and enhancing the way it interacts because what was happening in the past is a lot of automated business role emails were going out and then it was cluttering the past activities was just full of all of this automated emails mm -hmm. and if you tried to see what a user actually did it got real messy so we decided to move it off onto its own tab and then you do have the ability to say I want to include this is where we're cleaning up here none would infer I don't want to see any communications I want to see text included in my communications I want to see email included and I want to see text and email. So this would include, again, the wording on here is, is going to be cleaned up, but you would actually see all of the activities, whether it was a tour, an event you added, um, a phone call completed, email sent, email received, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and then we do have the, the communications tab here, and then we've renamed the history tab, which most people don't use. Yeah, as pop quiz. Audit. What does the history tab do? Tell us in the section in the comments. <laughs> yes, so we renamed it to audit. Audit may not be what sticks, and we've also made it a preference to turn it off okay. because it was confusing a lot of Absolutely. people. Absolutely. So we decided uh, there's there's a number of kind of people at corporate or kind of customer service related. I'm vaguerizing here. Uh, that would use to dive into a lead to see what was going on, but like 80% of the time, no one really used the tab. Mm -hmm. So now it's an option to be turned off, or it's a permission, sorry, let me say it that way. It's a user permission. Okay. The user sees it, the user doesn't, and then uh, that way we can clean up the screen a little bit. Uh, but I think in terms of two-way communication, they are all under here. Okay. And so this is all of your emails uh, in and out. You can see the status, in and out. Uh, you can see your text messages, which apparently uh, sending stuff to Kevin was uh, failing. Yes. <laughs> um, Carl him apparently. And uh, but we do have all of the communications here listed in both directions. I do want to tell you guys one thing that even I noticed in this kind of demonstration server is that that status where it says sent, received, that will change to the statuses that you guys are all familiar with sent, delivered, opened, clicked, bounced, failed. Those will exist. On this test server, there's not a really great way to do it. So just so you know, because that was my first question was, I want to know on two-way who opened and who clicked and which links they were clicking. That will exist once we start sending real data and real emails out of the system. So don't fret. Yeah, that is the, yeah, I wasn't clear about that. That is the actual status. Right. So in past activities, it was email sent parentheses, delivered, open, clicked, mm -hmm. that's what goes there. Cool. So right now you're just seeing sent, but I promise you in your live data it will say open, clicked, bounced, all of that cool stuff, and you'll still get your alerts for bounces and fails um, just as normal. Yep. What else on two-way text and email? What else do we need to talk about? I mean, that's it. For the most part, we wanted the home screen to be where you can action everything. We want, we want to make the home screen very intuitive where you can log in and action what you need to and then you can dive into the other parts of the system as needed right. but we wanted the home screen to be very functional so replying to the emails what are my tasks what are my pending leads and then beyond that it's over to the lead screen where everything sits so the communications in task etc um, and then you can see the replies back on group communication I mean really we're just receiving the we're just adding the inbound capabilities to our existing outbound right one thing I will remind you guys of, none of this works. No text works as it stands now if you don't have that uh, option in, within their managed lead. If it's blank, if it says home, if it says work, it's not going to let you send. And I've told all of you guys, go into your pick list settings, which are in the settings tab. We'll show you how to get there. Go in there and just make sell the default. I would pay good money that no parent is really giving you a landline at this point and even if they are the worst thing is is you're going to get a notification that it failed and it didn't work okay no big deal go set that default to cell phone so that you can text message and you can do these two-way things and you'll know really quickly if they did and follow back up and get their cell phone <laughs> um, what else on two-way I think that's it I'm sure we'll have a ton of questions on it ton of comments in there my favorite feature and I know everybody's excited for two-way text and email but I am really excited for drip campaigns 
So let's jump to that. You jump to that. Yeah. Mike just told me he said that uh, we didn't show an inbound text with a GIF. I there so is if one a parent if a parent sends an inbound GIF picture or anything there, it will come through yeah there's one in there if you go to home and all oh will it yeah oh well, I have let's to show. Look. so oh, let's well, go to Mike <laughs> Mike this is just for you here's here's your demo so all communications, communications and go to all like and then all all text where uh, is it did I dismiss it well, no, well go to not last it? seven days maybe go to oh I'm sorry I'm, I'm going ahead of things here Is there one that says GIF? Uh oh, there's just a lot. All yeah, right, there's a lot. I promise you it works because I sent a, <laughs> I sent a GIF of Kanye, everyone. <laughs> 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 to test it, it was the best. Anyhow, uh, you see in there the little GIF. <laughs> and the right. emojis and everything. And I, like I said, we have put in a story to please allow you guys to send cool things out too. So I know that is- There we go. There it is, is it Kanye? <laughs> There you go, Mike. There's your picture uh, uh, inbound. So, uh, 